Hi, welcome to another video by Archangel Raphael. My name is Jabine and I'm a channel of Archangel Raphael. In this particular video, um, people have messaged me questions um, and um, they're, all, they're all on the same subject um, of divine inspiration. Um, so um, we've compiled the questions um, and, and made it all into one theme. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to read out the questions and then I'm going to let Raphael come in and speak. Um, so yeah, the first question is what is divine inspiration? I would like you to know that divine inspiration is a combination of what you feel inspired to do from within and what you are feeling from a place outside of yourself. So what I will say is that when you are generally inspired in life, it is because there is something in your own energy, in the energy you have already embodied, that is telling you to do something. It can be whatever, whether it is something very physical or something else. However, when you are divinely inspired, what happens is that you are given information from another place altogether. There is something incoming into your energy field. So divine inspiration can come from a non-earthly being that is around you, or it can come from source itself. But wherever it comes from, it will feel like it is beyond what you would normally be feel to do or believe you can do. And it will also resonate with a part that is already embodied. Because when you receive divine intervention, it is because there is a part of you that is resonating with the incoming energy Otherwise, it is not able to come in. That is all. Okay, um, so the second question is, does all inspiration come from the source? In answer to this, what I will say is that all inspiration does not come from the source, but divine intervention inspiration does. So what happens when you are divinely inspired is that you are either given information through a being who is in source alignment or you are given it from source itself. You are given it from the cosmic consciousness itself. What I will say is that there are other kinds of inspiration that come from other beings, non-physical beings, or even you can be inspired by someone who is incarnate. However, that is not necessarily divine inspiration. That is being inspired by beings, whether they are physical or not. Um, what is the definition of genius? The definition of genius in our eyes is someone who is able to think beyond what they are already experiencing and what they have experienced. They are able to literally come up with ideas out of thin air. They do not have to live through something in order to know about it. It is like they are connected to something greater than themselves. A true genius is divinely inspired. That is what I see. Um, <clears throat> what separates genius level creators from normal human beings? The answer to this is quite simple. It is someone who is divinely inspired. It is very simple. Um, why do a lot of them go through psychological problems or problems adjusting into society? I believe the answer to this again is simple and that is that when you are open to source and source level energy you are more in touch with your problems as well because where there is light there is also 
the energy that comes with it of being able to see the parts of you that are not light, that have real problems, and the parts in your life like this. So people who are more open to light have more problems because they are more aware of their problems. The parts of them which are not right show up in front of their faces and they have to deal with their problems rather than lock them away into their physical form. That is all. Can inspiration come from the lower spiritual levels and how to determine if it did? I will say that inspiration can come from anywhere, but divine inspiration is from source. But yes, you can be inspired by lower astral beings. You can be inspired by beings who are not in source alignment. How can one tap into their own genius? Does it simply come from lifetimes of practice or does one need to be made that way? How is one's creative potential determined from birth? I will say that it is possible to tap into your own divine potential as a creator by simply going within and being aware of your alignment to source the alignment you already have, and also then consciously asking to be guided by Source. You are able to create more in alignment to Source the more you want to, and those people who have had many lifetimes like these are the ones who are most inspired, and people who are new to it will take longer to be able to be as inspired. Because the more you open up the channels within, the more you are able to use those channels. And the more well used they are, the more that can come through in any given moment. That is what I see. There is no such thing as not being inspired at all by di divinity. But there is such a thing as being the sort of person who is rarely inspired by divinity, someone who is not used to this energy coming through them. So for people like this, it does take longer to build up the channel, to make it wider, so to speak, so more can flow through it, and for it to become a comfortable experience for them. That is all. Okay, so um, yeah, that's the end of the questions. Um, and um, I'm just going to finish um, by allowing Raphael to come through and for him to give everyone a boost in this, in this um, energy. Um, so I'm going to let him come in now and speak. I would like you to know that when you are with us, you are automatically being divinely inspired. And what I would like to do next is give you a boost in this part of your awareness so you can be more open to receiving divine inspiration from Source itself and from cosmic beings, whether they are on Earth or whether they are in Spirit. You automatically recognise Source energy and whether it comes through a being or whether it is direct from source, it is the same energy. I would like you to close your eyes and I will do this now for you, give you a boost in this part of your being.
I would like you to know that this is complete. Yeah, so thank you for listening everyone and hope you enjoyed this video um, and if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to this channel um, and um, yeah and you know we aim to post a few videos a week so you know press the notifications to be alerted about that um, and um, yeah thank you very much for listening.